Good day, sailors and marines. I'm Aim One Pollitt. And I'm Aim Chiambo from Naval Training Site, CNIU Jacksonville. In today's video, we will be discussing basic corrosion inspection tools and key corrosion inspection methods, along with proper math documentation. Let's get started. When it comes to aircraft maintenance inspections, corrosion is the silent killer that's always lurking. Some might say it never sleeps. While on the surface it may seem harmless, corrosion can affect aircraft component function, airframe integrity, and in the end, aircraft availability for fleet readiness. In this video, we will provide an overview of proper inspection methods for corrosion identification utilizing proper tools to help better serve you for day-to-day -day maintenance. Corrosion is the natural process that converts refined metal into a chemically stable oxide. Environmental forces are actively working to break down metal into its basic state. This will happen by the introduction of four elements, electrolytes, cathode, anode, and an electrical contact between the two. Operating at sea or in a human environment creates a natural recipe for corrosion to occur. At a quick glance, corrosion can appear as rust, discoloration, or powder around hardware, mating surfaces, mating irregularities, and more. With our aircraft operating in such corrosion-prone environments, it is crucial to inspect the aircraft regularly. Our corrosion inspections are driven by scheduled maintenance tasks like specials or unscheduled maintenance tasks such as a daily or a turnaround inspection. It's important to remember that regardless of the inspection, we should always be on the lookout for the presence of corrosion and bring correction to any maintenance issues. Before we walk over to the aircraft to perform the inspection, we need to ensure that we grab essential corrosion documents such as the focus area list or the area of concern list. These documents organize the most corrosion prone areas on the aircraft by zone and work unit code. This chart must be utilized while performing heavy corrosion specials to ensure that not only are we looking at the most susceptible areas, but also documenting corrosion discrepancies with the correct work unit code. Now it's time to begin our inspection. Before we perform any sort of corrosion inspection on the aircraft, we must confirm that the area is accessible, visible, clean, and safe. This step shall be completed during the TMS aircraft wash inspection. If the inspection area or the compartment is not clean, a simple spot clean will suffice with the use of a cloth or lint-free cloth accompanied by a degreasing solvent such as Milpref 680 or the type aircraft directs. Now that the area has been properly prepared for the inspection, we need to verify that the appropriate tools are available. In accordance with NAVAIR 01 TAC 1 Alpha TAC 509 Volume 2, the following tools will be used to inspect and evaluate the extent of corrosion damage. Flashlight, 10x magnifying glass, plastic scraper, boroscope, depth gauge, pin micrometer type, and an optical depth micrometer. To identify corrosion, a magnifying glass, a mirror, a flashlight, plastic scraper, and occasionally a boroscope are the tools of choice of the maintainer. There are different techniques while using specific tools for corrosion identification. Let's go through each accepted inspection method. Flashlight. Using a flashlight with strong illumination will allow you to locate any corrosion-related deficiencies within the interior and exterior of the aircraft, as well as low-lit compartments. While using a flashlight, avoid leaving it in a set position pointing towards your inspection area. Doing this occasionally causes shadow casting from the lens, which can hide discrepancies. Tilting the flashlight while inspecting the surface will reveal abnormalities. Remember, it's important that we do not ever use phones on the aircraft. A phone is considered FOD, and if you are going to need a flashlight or anything of that nature, make sure you're using one out of the correct toolbox in conjunction with your command's TCP. Magnifying glass. Throughout your inspections, you will find that the publications dictate the use of a 10x magnifying glass to conduct your inspection. While we may have exceptional eyesight, Using the magnifying glass during the inspection can help to write a clear and concise discrepancy. The magnifying glass assists with identifying type and severity of corrosion. Inspection mirror. An inspection mirror is a convenient yet crucial tool for corrosion. It's used to view the underside of required uninspectable areas that are not easily accessible. Often it will be used in conjunction with the flashlight to light and inspect in hard to reach spaces and manipulated corners of the frame. Like other inspection tools, 
Mirrors will come in all shapes and sizes depending on the command. Choose one that best suits the inspection area. Scraper. Scrapers are used to further identify suspected corrosion, removing superficial layers of paint or sealant to inspect the metal frame underneath. If there are any blisters, bubbles, or any other coating irregularities present, attempt to dislodge the paint by scraping it with the sharp plastic tool. If paint does not easily flake off and corrosion is not suspected, the irregularities is likely confined to the paint film itself, and no further action needs to be taken. And lastly, borescope. To use a borescope, insert the head assembly into any cavity having a large enough opening. With the cavity illuminated, visually inspect its interior for defects, such as damage to the paint system or corrosion. Now that we understand the tools required and their uses, we can perform the inspections. While examining the aircraft for corrosion and other irregularities, be sure to look at the applied sealants, RTV, coatings, and chaff protections. If there's any evidence of corrosion, it's time to document the discrepancy, as well as any other discrepancies found in the general area, other panels, missing hardware, etc. When documenting corrosion, be sure to reference the Comnavair Instruction 4790.2, Appendix E, as a reference for the correct malfunction codes of corrosion control, types of corrosion, and degree of corrosion. In closing today, you have learned key corrosion inspection methods and proper corrosion documentation. From CNAT Unit Jacksonville, I'm Amon Pollitt. And I'm Amon Have a fine Navy Marine Corps day.